claim the winner by GKO Alex Ponta Pereira. That dude is different. He's like, he's scary. He's scary. That dude has nuclear power. He's He's got crazy power. Even when he was over in glory, I was a big fan of his over in kickboxing. Right. Dude, he hits people and it, it doesn't even make sense. Really? It's like, it doesn't. He's the same size as these people. Yeah. But he hits them. It's like he's a heavyweight and they're a lightweight. I'm telling yeah. you, he's got fucking freaky power. Scary, terrifying, powerful, cold, and unprecedented. These are all some of the words that have been used to describe Alex Poetin Pereira in his short but very eventful career in the UFC, and with good reason as well. The man is the literal embodiment of a freak of nature. His insane speed, power, and ability to shut anyone's lights out instantly is a dangerous threat for any opponent. Bayna's hurt. Got him with a left hook. Bayna eats the knee now, trying to hold on. Can Poetan put him down? And that is a knockdown. Ready. Yeah, that left hook. One or two more shots. I think it's over. No, his nose is already playing. Left hook. A string of high-profile victories coupled with the sort of knockout power that can turn any fight on its head has seen the Brazilian stock elevate to a near-revered status within the UFC. And with a highly anticipated third matchup across two sports against middleweight great Israel Adesanya, the MMA world is carefully holding its breath on another potential highlight reel. Like many young Brazilians, Pereira had a pretty rough childhood. His father was an alcoholic and an abuser. His mother was just a housekeeper with very meager income, and by the age of 11, he was a high school dropout and had started engaging in hard labor to be able to pay some bills. It almost seemed fated that Pereira would never escape the vicious cycle of poverty that had plagued a lot of Brazilians. Things seemingly got worse when the very young Pereira turned to alcohol for the first time at the age of 10, and when he turned 12, he was a full-time alcoholic. A 12-year-old alcoholic with no education, skills, or any means of sustainable income. Surely, the future was going to be bleak, right? But then came martial arts. There's a popular saying that the best way to overcome an addiction is through sports. For Pereira, this was certainly the case. Having spent a large part of his childhood drunk, Pereira knew in his heart that if he ever wanted a shot at escaping the poverty level in the favela, he would need to find a way to overcome his alcohol addiction. There was no money at home, so he couldn't afford a therapist, and the slums of Brazil aren't really the best place for support groups. So, he turned to the one thing he perhaps had a knack for from a young age, fighting. As a young Brazilian, Pereira didn't have many skills. He couldn't play football or any other sport. But one thing he knew how to do, having grown up in a rough neighborhood, was fight and defend himself. And he put this innate ability to the absolute best. As of 2009, just before he turned 13, he would start training in kickboxing to help reshape his life and overcome his addiction. For him, the rigors and highly disciplinary nature of the sport would leave far less room for him to drink as much. And as he predicted, it worked. But this wasn't the only thing that came about from Pereira's training in kickboxing. Unknown to him, he had a gift and a very powerful one at that, and after stacking up a very impressive 5 and one record over four years, he claimed his first kickboxing title. Right now, really liking the Bane's low kick. There's a lot of Pereira. People feel he's just got hands. If someone in the middleweight division would they have gone down. Yeah, never know. There's another one. Three high kicks there for Sine now trying to hold on. Can Poetan put him down? And that is a knockdown for Pereira. Put every strike into that knockdown. Boy, middleweight champion of the world, Alex Pereira. And new glory light heavyweight champion of the world. With this title, his confidence in his abilities grew, more wins and titles followed, 
and he finally seemed to be leaving his alcohol addiction behind him. A far cry from the 12-year-old that seemed destined for poverty. Having amassed an impressive 33 wins in his kickboxing career, with a trail of lifeless bodies in his wake, including that of the middleweight champion, it seemed only fitting that Pereira would want to test himself in a far more dangerous sport. And by 2015, he was making his MMA debut. At all times, obey the rules we went over in the dressing room at all times, my commands, protect yourself at all times, fight hard, touch them now if you're going to, let's go to war. It didn't take long for him to carry the same level of viciousness right into the MMA, as he finished three of his four fights all in spectacular fashion before making the jump to the UFC. Four seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Alex Portan Pereira. Tempo no para ação para recolocar o protetor bucal. Tentou chute rodado. Você, quem leva? Portan ou Kemuel? Alex Portan e Kemuel Otoni, anote essa luta. When Pereira made his UFC debut in late 2021, Israel Adesanya had already established himself as one of the most dominant UFC champions in the organization. But there was a level of belief that he would be the man to upstage the stylebender. And given how he has performed in his three fights in less than a year, that belief is certainly growing stronger. The reason that Alex Pereira is is because there's a storyline there. And we know what the storyline is. The storyline is that he beat him twice in kickboxing. Pereira's a tremendously skilled kick kickboxer, but more importantly, very aggressive, a little bit wild, and has got knockout power. He knocked out Andreas Mihailidis in a spectacular fashion with a flying knee. He utterly dominated Bruno Silva, and he finished Sean Strickland, who was riding a six-fight win streak in trademark fashion, all of which set him up perfectly for a highly anticipated matchup against his arch nemesis. Barely a year after making his UFC debut, Alex Pereira would have the opportunity to write his name in history come the second week of November, when he takes on Israel Adesanya. Having already beat him twice, and knocked him out once before, Pereira has every right to be confident going into this fight. If he could knock him out with 12-ounce gloves, he can certainly do it with 4-ounce gloves. As well as Pereira is huge, but he's got the range and the reach and he's very offensive with it, so we're going to see that. But in saying that, they're wearing small gloves because he hit him in the kickboxing fights. Small gloves change things. It's, you see it every night, though. the small gloves changes. His insane power and speed might just prove to be the deciding factor in what is sure to be a highly entertaining matchup. And with fighters like Robert Whittaker, Marvin Vittori, Paula Costa, and even Kamzat Chimaev still in the wings, the best is yet to come from Alex Poatin Pereira.